morning to all of you and uh, it's my pleasure to join you this morning uh, in this uh, event as i understand disruption is a spotlight series at uh, charcha 2022 to look at the technology led disruptions at a national scale for creating economic opportunities in various areas now we need to think how the foundations of science technology and innovation can help india unlock its human potential to develop a world class force we all know that india entered the demographic dividend opportunity window in 2005 2006 and it will remain there till 2055 56 this is the period when the working age ratio is equal to or more than 150% and the dependency rate is less than 66.7% generally taken as the cut off for the demographic dividend window now this opportunity of demographic dividend we all will agree can be harnessed by creating the right conditions and what are they such as healthy population educating young people especially girls skilled workforce high performance economy to generate high quality jobs and people in gainful employment so let us first look at what we mean by skill development so i'll take some of these one or two items and just uh, think the law how we can uh, really tackle this now india must strive to move towards skilled income generating work for its youth with a strong uh, founding foundation in quality higher education and skilling program invest uh, in stem education namely science technology engineering and mathematics and the startup ecosystem now here strong foundation in skill education and skills for emerging sectors like clean energy advanced manufacturing nanotechnology etc is a must now skill de- uh, skill development at the grassroots level is equally important i don't think we can underplay any of this as compared to the other now this grassroots skilling is being done under our rutac program uh, in the psa office in various iits which is supporting livelihood for rural communities and providing marketing technologies so i'll just give one or two examples to bring home what we are doing so our jodhpur science technology and innovation sti cluster provide support to artisans perhaps many of you will be knowing that under psa office we have this concept of city clusters so right now we have this city clusters uh, in six cities where we bring different institutions different stakeholders industry startup together in one umbrella under one umbrella and we have started six such clusters two are in the pipeline which are about to be launched so under this jodhpur cluster we have provided support to artisans now other clusters uh, which i said we have five more other than jodhpur they are also conducting training programs now our psa office has also supported for example iit dharwad uh, to develop a center of excellence so this is another uh, uh, program which our uh, psa office is doing via clusters so we have developed a center of excellence that not only innovates actually but also provides upskilling to ne- nearby polytechnic and institutions in the renewable energy so this will have a multiplication effect uh, in the whole ecosystem 
we are supporting development of micro entrepreneurs related to sanitation technologies at iit palkar with support of hdfc bank gate foundation and toilet board coalition etc now we all know that livelihood and jobs cannot be relegated to government sector alone we all agree and you are all partners in taking uh, this uh, beyond this concept further now here the startup ecosystem is absolutely necessary for creation of jobs and i am happy to see that india is doing extremely well in the last few years with almost 70000 startups and many of them have gone to become unicorns uh, is doing very well now from my office uh, at prince at uh, psa uh, there is a strategic alliance division which is ably led by dr sapna poti that plays a role in enabling startups to work with industries as well as state governments uh, thereby facilitating them to an entire value chain of ideation to scale now uh, let me take you through some examples of the work uh, done under this initiative for example uh, under this initiative from our office uh, 220 startups last year were provided support through various industry academic challenges uh, sourced by the uh, by our office now startups have implemented massive projects for example especially in this covid times making speedy hospitalization making this uh, hospitals quickly oxygen plants in different parts of the country outdoor air purifier for indian railways etc now this facilitation supports startups to scale up and provide livelihood to various others so these are some examples uh, which our office has been participating and i am sure there are many many such efforts by many agencies which are going on now coming to farmer uh, farmers livelihood another important point in our ecosystem uh, in the country now we also developed an app uh, which is called atmanirbhar krishi which dips into ministerial data on water weather moisture soil health etc from different departments of the government such as uh, jal ministry ministry of agriculture imd isro etc now these initiatives by the psa office strategic alliance division supported livelihood of the farmers so this is our contribution to this en uh, entire question of how we can really generate this livelihood for our uh, country now our office uh, psa office has also developed it platforms to support livelihoods uh, as we have enabled development of a platform called swarajability by iit hyderabad and youth for jobs with funding from kotak for assessment of skill gaps skill development and placements of the differently enabled candidates now very soon i am happy to share with you that we will launch a digital platform called manthan to get several stakeholders on a com common platform this is almost ready to launch here the different stakeholders namely industries academia startups central and state governments and in, uh, international opportunities to start up and special projects that will increase the r&d social impact and livelihood uh, will uh, it will increase many many folds so that is another initiative by our office